And we're back for video number three of the Permadeath Sea Ice Let's Play on uh, RimWorld. I haven't played any since the last video. Keep saying, oh, I bet it's Chief that needs the warm clothes. Although he doesn't seem to be suffering at the moment. Does he still have, yeah, he still has two fine meals. The deal was I would let him sleep here for one night after doing a bit of work. And, um, and then I'll let him go. Now, I do recall that if you, um, let's see, where is it now? Yes. If you banish, oh, look. Chef will most likely die. Well, that's not my problem. Although, I have to tell you, I wouldn't mind him dying. Because then I could butcher him, and I would already have a, a good starting source for kibble for Rosa. I want to say Rosa, but it's Rosa. Um, maybe, he'll, maybe he'll die anyway on his way out, but I doubt it. Should I steal his gun? It's in poor condition. Poor. Oh, by the way, I just realized that my bed is in poor condition too. How disappointing. All right, I'm just gonna let time progress kind of slowly at the moment. Okay, so I, I was building walls here. He was collecting stuff. I need to arrest him. And if I arrest him and then let him escape, then I don't get a mood debuff for banishing a colonist. I could also simply kill him and also get a mood debuff. If I'm going to get a mood debuff, I would rather kill him and get his meat than banish him. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a nice guy right now, so I'm just going to let him go without a mood penalty. But I do need to arrest him, so I think I'll make him drop his gun just in case he decides to resist. This is where I would be scum saving if I were not in commitment mode. Because if he does decide to fight back and he does any serious injury, then I have to deal with that as well. So I think I will make him drop his gun, though, at least. So if he's going to fight back, he's going to fight back as a melee. Or wait, what's his melee skill at? Okay, definitely want to make him drop his gun. Because his shooting skill is even higher than mine. All right, so we'll do that. And so I need a prison for him, though. So it'll be one of these two rooms, whichever rooms gets built first. Can he construct or not? Wait, is it construct? Yes, he can construct. So maybe he'll chip in and help with that. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and reduce this to three to perhaps force his hand. He can help construct the prison that I'm about to put him in. Can I change her name to Rosa? Oh, I can. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. My mic is in the way. All right, there you go. And from this day forward, you shall now be known as Rosa. A little less informal or a little less formal than Rosalina. Why are you still sleeping? Wait, you're not sleeping? What are you doing? You're relaxing socially. What's your schedule look like? Oh, anything? Psst. Nope. I don't think so. Go help build your prison. You better not botch anything. Okay, it looks like this is going to be the next room built. So, Oh, Whip is so close to having batteries researched. I need to get a bed, a sleeping spot in here. We'll put it right there. That looks about right. I'm going to go ahead and remove this spot. 
He's ate his second fine meal, I believe. He should have one left. Yep, he has one more left for his trip out. Oh, why can't you... That one. That one right there. There you go. All right. Fantastic. In the next project right now, we're not wasting any time. Hydroponics. All right. I know you thought you were going to get a break from the bench, but you're not, Whip. Okay, you can do that one thing, then go right back. All right. Is it cold in here? It is cold in here. Oh, and there comes, and there's our raid. Oh. You know what? Maybe I can use him to take the blunt of the raid. It's just going to be this one guy, though, huh? I like how they illuminate on the map. And he's got a club. All right. Well, that's not going to be a big deal. Well, I can get some herbal medicine from him. And is there a way to deconstruct? The I know you can deconstruct steel weapons. But what about something like limestone? I don't know if there is, or if there ever was. See, look how convenient the minimap is. I can watch him progress as I'm doing this. All right, uh, I, both of you out here, right meow. Move a little bit closer. Oh, I forgot. She has a different weapon. That's fine. Just in case he gets close, then she'll. All right. Well, that was easy. Oh wait, did he just? Did he just pass out and then come to? He did. Get him. Get him. We don't want him getting away. We want the food. You're not going nowhere. You done did make a mistake by coming out here. I don't know why I did that action. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and strip him. We're going to allow this to be picked up. Didn't I select that one too? And that one. Okay, I don't want the stuff. You know what? Will I get anything for that? I don't know. All right, I'll allow it since, I mean, why not? Because I don't have much of anything anyway. I might as well. Even if I only get like a dollar for selling that to some trader, it might still be worth it. And really, again, waste of AI. Look at this. She's returning all the way back to consume a nutrient paste mill and she could bring stuff back on her way. And it doesn't slow her down in the least bit. Um, you know what? I never did get shelves built. Where's Chief? What what are you doing? Building the roof. Okay. Alright. Um and what are you doing? You're still sitting there like that. Alright, let's have you go ahead and build this. 30 wood. I think I can afford that. And then Luna, you haul the dead. Actually, no. Haul the meds first. Okay, now she can eat her meal. Now I can go here and I can set storage for human corpses. Set this to preferred and then we'll put him in there. I still need to actually craft the butcher's table, but I don't think I need to do that just yet. See, look, that's done and that's still flashing. Shouldn't that just close? 
He's ready to be imprisoned as soon as he finishes his roof. Okay. Prison. Now let me grab... I'm going to draft you, bring you right down here. Let's go ahead and force you to drop your revolver. All right. Now, whip. Arrest this man. Wait, why can't... Oh, I need to make him military. 100% chance. All right, excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now, this is the trick. If it still works. Keep the door held open. He won't be able to escape this way because she'll probably be done with this by the time, but... Just in case, I'll hold this door open, and I'll hold this door open. Then, I'll force whip through all of these doors, and now he is immediately trying to escape. See, Prisoner Chef is escaping. I'll go over here, too. He might be able to escape this way. Actually, I think he will. That's weird. Why, why couldn't I speed it up? Oh, because he's in in hunter mode, maybe? All right, now you can go back. Let's go ahead and close these doors because we don't need let off cold air in. Did I already do that? I did already do that. Okay. There we go. And now you can go resume your ordinary duties. And look at that. We no longer have him and... If I'm correct, sleep with the serve, ate awful meals, up in the cold, observed core, dull barracks, and slightly. All of this, however, there was no mood debuff for banishing a member of the colony. Let that be a lesson to you. You just walk in here, prance in here like you own the place, and say, oh, hey, guys, I'm joining you. Maybe you should ask. Maybe you should walk over and introduce yourself, say hello, tell us a little bit about yourself, and then say, hey, uh, are you looking for a third? See, even Rosa agrees with me. She's like, oh, I know. The audacity. All right, so they'll be going to bed soon. Hydroponics is next. I need to get a battery going. How's my st Oh, steel is looking good. All right, that makes me feel good. Power, battery. I have a spot here for one, here for one. I have a spot here reserved and a spot here reserved. I don't know if I'm going to need. I think if I just maybe get one and two turbines, I'm hoping that will be enough to run the hydroponics. Um. I'll put I'll put this on the interior. Well, I was doing all this talking and looked up and thought, wow, how weird. It's only been 13 minutes. It feels like a half an hour. At some point, I paused it. And uh, I don't know when that happened. Anyway, uh, I'll just catch you up because I don't know at what point I paused it and how much you missed. Uh, basically, we have the walls up here. We got rid of Chef. Um, I did bring this human back. Well, we ran out of kibble. And I've restricted the use of these mills. So they have to use the nutrient paste. But I only have 18 milk. So that's only enough for three mills. One for him, one for her, and one for the cow if she'll eat it. I don't know. And I have to also do this little trick to try to get them to drop that meal when it happens. I haven't butchered the rabbits yet. I don't feel, oh good, we're getting more milk. That's going to be three more mills right there. Everything is built here. We have two batteries, two wind turbines. We just need the hydroponics. That's going to be the next big step in this whole process once I get that. And I have enough steel because I believe it's like 100 steel for each bay. And so I'm going to start off with, I think, three. I could craft more, but I'm not. I don't know what the power situation here is is going to be for that. Although I could just switch off power to the hydroponic bays that I don't want to use. But still, if I'm not going to use them, I might as well save the steel for now. 
I think everything is off of the map now. Oh, no, there is still more up here. Is that what she's doing? Okay, she's grabbing it. Good. Uh, let me check metal or steel. We have all of that. Are there any more wild animals? No, no wild animals. So the map is really clear except for some blood over here. I wonder... I think I remember reading something in the past that blood and animals and dead animals will attract other wildlife. But I think that only applies if there's wildlife on the map. I don't know if that means it will bring wildlife to the map that aren't already there. That would be nice, though. Whip has been inspired to recruit, but there's no one to recruit, and we don't want to recruit anyone anyway. All right, did she get all of those? Yes, eight. All right, it's going to be the last of those items. Then we're going to go ahead. Oh. So close. So very close. He's not upset yet from uh, lack of food. What's she doing? Oh, just organizing the sum? That's fine. Wow, she's going crazy over there. Oh, yes. Perfect timing. Stop everything. What time is it? 1,500 hours. Okay. Actually, I think this switches off at night, and I think it switches off at 8 o'clock anyway. But look, lots of power reserves here, so we should get a couple of hours in at least, I think. Now, uh, is this production? Yes. 100 steel, one component. Oh, how many components do I have, by the way? 25. I have plenty. Okay. So we'll put one right there. Oh, that one isn't going to... I don't think that one's going to reach. Do I bring in... I have 764 steel. It's fine. I'll just bring that over. Actually, I put one here. Actually, I could just do three right here to start off. I'll just do that. Save a tiny bit of extra steel for now, even though it would only be like maybe 10 extra pieces of steel for that. Really? You just had to go move those in that particular spot right there? Okay, now they're default to rice. I think rice is the fastest growing, if I recall. Potato, rice, strawberry, heel root. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize you could grow heel root in these. Cotton plant, hop, cycloid, smoke leaf. I don't really, I don't want my colonists getting addicted to drugs, so probably no to all of that. Really, it's just, I think, going to be rice. Until I get more and can get a handle on it. Oh, she has some of these meals on her. Is that what happened? Let me check. Okay, now let me try this. Drop that. Oh, nope. He now wants... Yes, let's... Yes, let's do that. Let's move it. Move it right there for Rosa. What? Ah, oh, and he went and picked it right back up. <laughs> oh, poor Rosa. All right. That's not a problem. Um, since they're eating right now, they won't eat this when I say prioritize the placing of packaged survival meals over here. Type preferred, yes. Over here is normal. Okay. All right, that'll work. I guess it's your lucky day, Rosa. They get the goop and you get to eat the survival meal. What are you doing? You no no no. Oh my god, you people.
Look at this. This is ridiculous. They want to hoard the food, and so I can't feed the cow. So annoying. I don't know why I clicked that. Actually, I don't need to do that. Actually, let me try this. Okay. Drop the meal. Now go away. There we go. There we go. Now finally Rosa gets to eat something. Okay, now you can go do something. Like wander around, do nothing. I should set a new research project, but I'll give him a I'll give him a, a night off since it's 1900 hours. Let's go ahead and switch this on. Although I don't think it's going to come on right now. What's the priority? Planting or constructing? Growing? Three. Constructing is two. I guess that's the way I want it. Once I get this other stuff constructed, I really won't be constructing much for a while because I won't have the materials to do it. There we go. Are these other ones set to rice? Yes. All right. Now, if this grows fast enough, I think maybe Rosa can go a day or two. Actually, maybe I can use that same trick with the nutrient paste meal to feed her these meals instead. I just need to force them to drop, then put them in the military mode, and then move them. Five percent grown. Needs in light level, 51 percent. So you can see by clicking it, the grow zone. So I wasted a little bit of space, but it's worth it. In this case, because uh, it helps me keep this room smaller. And smaller means warmer. Because they will die if they don't get light during the day. And if it gets too cold. I think below zero. And look, these batteries are full. I'm so tempted to get another battery going right now. I think I need to hold on to this, though. Because I need... I need some other things crafted. I'm going to leave it as is. We'll see what happens. I need to at some point also... There's a better research table you can get. I also, I also want machining. So I can craft my own guns. It'd be nice to have a TV, but that's a luxury item at this point. This opens up a lot. Oh, there is the orbital trade beacon. Oh, and I think you need the comms console too, if I recall. Yes, it allows radio contact with other factions and orbital traders. I forgot about that. So you need the comms console to talk to the orbital traders and you need the orbital trade beacon in order to actually do the trades required for orbital trading you can only sell goods to orbital traders if they are near an orbit. oh I can sell items does this mean that I can still buy items from a spacecraft in orbit Re without this is this only for selling or is this for buying and selling I'm not sure but uh, I need to craft Probably both of those. Oh, there is the high-tech workbench right there. And that. Oh, man, look at the power. It needs power. 250 watts. Yeah, I definitely need... I think I'm going to need to get a third turbine up. 
and probably a third battery too. We'll see. We'll see how far I can push this with the power that I have now. As long as I can start bringing in some rice, that's going to change everything. Because between because I can use the rice with the milk to craft both meals for my colonists and also kibble for Rosa. And there's the light. It must be morning. Oh, great. Psychic drone is going to affect her mood. But I think she has, if I recall, I gave them both that trait. Iron willed. Mental break threshold. That helps a lot. I like that one because it helps with everything. Everything that might affect them negatively. Whereas a lot of the other traits will only help them with one specific type of event. All right, I guess they've wandered around long enough now. Um, what's, what's next here? Auto doors. I don't even know if I can afford auto doors. That would be nice, though. I don't really think I need solar panels out here because I'm in the North Pole, right? So... During the winter time, that means no power. Oh, I'd like to be able to craft those. Maybe that one next, even though I don't even have a stove yet. Requ oh, I need smithing? Well, let me back up some. Oh, maybe Devil Strand. Oh, no, wait. Let's do Pemison. We'll do that, and then smithing. Oh, I could do carpet making. I forgot about carpets. That can come in handy for making the place feel better. It gives them a mood boost. But I need to grow some cotton for that. Oh, shoot. Uh, I did not mean to do that one. Can I just... Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. Oh, look at that. We have a bolt. Looks like they have uh, They must have a lot of stuff Oh look they got some dogs Couple doggos And some buffalo Let's see what they have Oh wow they have some wood What else Human meat Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Should I trade? Why are these guys splitting off? Are they... Are these two different groups? Oh, shoot. I forgot to lay down my trade spot. Uh, miscellaneous trade spot. Let's say... Here. Let's see if that... Oh, no. Here. Let's see if that helps keep them out of my base. Gosh, these guys are coming straight down. That way. Go that way. That way. Where are you guys going? Oh, you... Seriously? What? Now they go over there. All right. Well, that's kind of weird. Maybe they had a spot they wanted to go to, and then after they reach that spot, then they go to the trading spot. All right. Uh, you're the socialite, I think. Social eight. Social two, yeah. All right. So you go over there and... Trade. Let's see if this works this time. Last time there was like a solo trader and he just decided to leave the area before I even had a chance to trade. I wish I could grab one of these muffles though. Although I can't take care of it right now. Oh, they have, oh, they have rams? What are rams good for though?
Hmm. All right. They're act they actually have some pem. Is it pemmican or pemmican? No. Oh, will they buy human? No, I need my human meat anyway. I don't. I can't be selling any food right now, including milk, even though they would buy it. Cloth. I could possibly use some cloth, but I don't know for sure. What can I sell? This, and this, component, milk. They don't want any of the junk clothing that I picked up, do they? Um, wood maybe? For me? How much is that? Oh no. Wait. I went the wrong way. Wait, why am I so confused right now? This goes from me to them. This goes from them to me. So. Wait, why is the cost weird? Why is it one for the first wood and then two for the second wood? It must be one and a half or something. Oh, no, it's right there. 81 cents. Never mind. You know, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not going to sell anything. Um, actually, if I do one thing, it doesn't make them happy. All right, we'll do one thing. We'll buy one wood for one dollar. There you go. See, now we have good, good relations. You could go pick it up. You know, you don't have to. When they're back there, you know, that's all right. We'll let Luna grab it. Then we'll let her go ahead and craft the butcher table. How's this looking? 42%. Oh, yeah, 280% growth rate, and rice already grows fairly fast. Shoot, this might be ready tomorrow. It's 1,500 hours. Yeah, I think this will be ready tomorrow. You can, you can close now. Yep. All right, I think I'm making some progress now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some rice by tomorrow. I'll get a butcher's table built. Um, I'll butcher the rabbits. I'll make some, and the human. I'll make some kibble out of... I'll make a little bit of... I'll make some kibble out of some rice. Not rice. Uh, milk. No, I'll make kibble out of the human and the rice, and then uh, I'll leave the milk here for ourselves to make nutrient meals with. I think that'll work. I don't even need to butcher the rabbits still yet. I can hold on to them. Speaking of which, are there any? No, no wildlife has showed up. All right, I think that's it for now. I'm probably not going to record the next video. The next video I'm just going to play for a while, a little more casually, without talking about what I'm doing. I guess they didn't want to buy this stuff because it's all poor. Poor, 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 poor. Actually, I should melt. One of these, one of these days, I can build the smelter and then I can melt down steel stuff. Get some steel that way too, but that has to be worth it because I think it costs... Yeah, it costs 170 steel just to craft the electric smelter. So I need to have enough stuff to melt down first to make it worth it. Otherwise, I start in a deficit. All right, I think that will do it. Look at that. We have ourselves a humble little colony right here. Growing some rice now. We have a freezer. We have a commons area. It's warm. It's not too bad. 65, 66. It could be a little warmer, but it's not too bad. Nice and cold in here. Actually, it's close to not being freezing. Minus 8 out here. It's probably because of this. I do. Oh, I should go ahead and get up my double door here and here. I'll do that next. I'll do some stuff off camera. I'll get the double door system here and here. That'll help some. I might even, let me see. I have enough, uh, I have enough granite. So I'll probably go ahead and get this room built as well to get ready for that. And uh, we'll see what happens. So far, no raids. 
That kind of surprises me. Seems like I was getting raided sooner when I was playing before. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.